Hey, FPV pilots, Smooth Virus, call sign Virus, with you here from the now empty basement workshop in Washington, D.C. So, got my Sonic Model F1 wing here, all completed. I flew it this weekend um, and had a successful maiden flight. Uh, you may notice that I did break the propeller. I did that when I landed, and uh, you'll see that in just a moment. Um, basically, they they don't enable the uh, the brake on the ESC by default, so the prop was still spinning when I landed, so I broke it right off. But that's okay. Prop's real cheap. It's just the gem fan uh, prop that you would usually put on a quadcopter. And I just, I ordered some more. I even ordered some of the bullnose props. So we'll see how the bullnose props do on this wing. But other than that, it flew fine. It's a super simple build. It's probably the simplest fixed wing FPV build I've ever done. Um, basically, you got a little lead here. This goes to the video system. This just goes to the balance lead on my 4S battery. And then I got an old, I don't think they even make these anymore. I got my old uh, 600 milliwatt 5.8 immersion RC video transmitter here, and that's that's also powering the uh, the Runcam Mini Swift, which is up here in the nose. I just kind of hot glued that in there. It runs off five volts, so it's really nice that they uh, you have a wide range of voltage on this little camera. And really, that's about. <laughs> So that's about it. Other than that, it's just real simple. Uh, I got a uh, FreeSky uh, X4R SB receiver just up here in the in the aft section, and I took the wire antennas out and just taped them down to the wing. And uh, that's about it. No return to home or anything, or OSD or autopilot or stabilizer or anything fancy. Flies just fine. Um, I kind of ran. I, I, I used my C1 Chaser setup as kind of the basis for this, but I think this is going to need a little bit more expo. But uh, I'll let you guys see the video. This thing is stupid fast. Um, I might get some more speed. I'm going to try some bullnose props and put. Uh, I'm going to get a higher C battery. I have a. Right now I'm running it on a Turnigy uh, 1800 milliamp hour. 4s battery that should give you about five or six minutes of flight time uh, if you're really going to open it up i flew it for about seven minutes and <laughs> i ran that battery down to absolutely nothing so yeah i wouldn't go longer than that uh at least on an 1800 if you don't want to damage it but i don't you might be able to get a 2200 in there but not much uh, you're not gonna go much bigger than that because it's it's really tiny in there. There's not a whole lot of room. I don't think you'd even have room to put a uh, one of like the omnibus boards if you were inclined to try and run uh, iNav on this or something like that. It's pretty small in there. And this is just a race wing. It's not designed for uh, a camera ship or to you know to go fly out long range or anything like that. You know, just uh, just a hot rod setup because it really is a hot rod, uh, and nobody there. That is no joke about this foam. It is, it is tough. Um, I did get a little scrape <laughs> when we threw the prop on landing. That would have cut EPO right open, but it just kind of, it just scraped it. Other than that, it's fine. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll let you guys watch the video and. Uh, Coming up, uh, I'm going to start on my uh, Wing Wing iNav build, so you'll be seeing that soon. And uh, more videos on the channel coming soon. I promise. Alright guys, everybody have a good one and enjoy some uh, high speed passes from the Sonic Model F1 Racing Wing. Later.
Exactly graceful landing. <laughs> 